Hey guys, today we are playing a game called BitLife, and yeah, the point of this game is to have a life, <clears throat> which I don't have, and yeah, so the point of this game is to technically just have a life, live it, live out as long as you can, and so yeah, let's get into the video. I'm over here trying to figure out a game name i said game what name and i can't think of one so uh let's see here we'll live the life of hmm, we'll live the life of we'll live the life of we'll live the life of uh lele ponds lele ponds yeah we're gonna live the life of lele ponds lele ponds Lele Ponds is not a male, so yeah, I don't know if she was born in the United States, but I also don't know where she, the city she was born in, so I'm just going to scroll up and down and click, click one. Uh, no, just go. <laughs> click one. Uh, surrounding the life of Lele Ponds, what? So yeah, I guess let's just get into this. Okay guys, I guess Lele Ponds is black. Uh, yeah. And her father is unknown. So, yeah, I guess a little pond is black now. But, uh, yeah. Let's age up one year. Nothing happened. Age up two years. Nothing happened. <gasps> we can get a kitty. Your mother wants to buy you a pet cat named Noah. Type Abyssinian cat. Don't know what that is. Age kitten. So, very young. Gender, male, color, brown. Its craziness is not high health. Okay, I, I, yes, I want him. My precious. Your mother brought home a cat named Noah for you. Be careful. While playing on the sidewalk outside of, of your home, you notice a group of buzzing insects flying in and out of a nearby lamppost. Disregard them, throw a rock at them. What would Lele Pons do? What would Black Lele Pons do? She would probably, if she was little, about four years old, she'd probably observe them. Wet pants? Lele Pons! Why'd you wet your pants? While playing at the park, you accidentally wet yourself. Bye. Um, uh, get wet, I guess. What? A group of neighborhood children are, are creating a secret club. They call it the Swear Club. And only allow in kids who say bad words. Oh my god! I just slapped my face and now it really hurts. Uh, let me in, damn it. Dinner, you're at, you're at your friend's, friend William's house sitting down at, to dinner, but the food looks kind of disgusting. What will you do? Just slip it to the dog. I mean, what's the harm in that? Your cat Noah gifted you by leaving a dead mouse on... Uh... We're gonna train him not to do that? Because I'm pretty sure I don't want to sleep on a dead mouse. Well, I'm pretty sure Lila Pons doesn't want to sleep on a dead mouse. So, uh... We're nine years old now? Um... School dance. It's time to go to your first school dance. You're attracted to a boy named Liam Larmer. What will you do? Ah, uh, ask Liam to go with me. Dream come true. You took Liam to the school dance. Whoa! Wow. <laughs> uh, a kid from school named Gabrielle is sending everyone links to obscene websites with videos of people doing weird things to each other. He sent it to you, too. What will you do? I'll do um, I, um, uh, I feel like Lela Pons, if she was like 11 or something, she, she would watch all the videos. I mean, I watched a bunch of explicit videos that someone at school sent me. Instruments. You're in music class at school and have an opportunity to try a new instrument. I feel like Lila Pons would be the person to do violin, maybe. 
I don't know. Levi Licker. You have an opportunity to have your first to have your first kiss with a boy named Levi Licker. Who the flip is Licker? And why is it named Licker? And uh, kiss. I don't know. I feel like little ponds would run away from him. Uh, I'm pretty sure little ponds are straight unless she changed her sexuality sometime. Okay, what? Group project. One of your teachers, Mrs. Larmer. Wait. W wait. You kissed the teacher. You went out. Okay. Um. Yeah. I am just gonna do my share on that. Um. No. Noah died. At the age of thirteen, he lived a great life, but sadly passed peacefully in the night. That's so sad. No one died. Driving test. Yay! I don't know nothing about driving, but okay. Uh, skin marks for who? Dangerous curves ahead. Dangerous curves ahead. I failed my driving test. Okay. Uh, join social media? Sure. What's going on? Hey, I signed up for social media. Gradu graduate from high school. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Um, okay, so, what do, I, what would Layla Pons do? She's, she does YouTube and, like, music and everything. So, music? I guess, yeah. Maybe? Yeah, I, I guess, yeah. Uh, ask my mother. Pay oh. My mother doesn't love me. Uh, a platform student loan. Uh, you took a student loan to pay for your university to tuition. Yay! Sure. Uh, you're now enrolled in the university. Religious neighbor. While outside chit chatting with your neighbor, he invites you to an event at his church that you have no interest in. Hmm. I'll make up an excuse. I I have to go. Clean my dead cat's litter box, I guess. I'm sorry, Noah. While waiting for f food at the drive-thru, you witness a young millennial trespassing. Is it weird that I'm in sixth grade and I don't know what millennial means? Hmm. Uh, call the police? The young millennial started arguing with you because you called the police on her. Walk away from her. I mean, she can't do nothing. You just called the police. Well, she can't do something. She can kill you. What? <clears throat> what? There are only 147 days left in the school year, but who's counting? I don't know. You tell me. Hey, I graduated, graduated from university with an undergraduate degree in music. What's undergraduate? Lyme disease. You have been diagnosed with Lyme disease. Oh, no. Um, yeah. I went to the beach and got a sunburn. That lasted for ten days. I just had to, I don't know why. I just complimented, complimented my mother. Well, Lela Ponce just complimented her mother. I We are now 23. I call my mother bubbly. Is that an insult? That feels like it would be an insult. What if your mother's fat? And you call her bubbly. Bubbles are like fat. But I can't. That's confusing. While talking, walking downtown, you witness a trap, tra 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 I don't know how to say that. Smoking in a prohibited area. Try to intervene? Oh, I just got attacked. Oh, God. Oh, run away from it. Depression. I'm suffering from depression. Uh, d uh d d d can I cure stuff? Oh, no, I can't. I'm broke. Um, okay. Can I sue someone? Yeah, I can sue them. Find a law firm. Never mind. I, I have no money. A guy named Andreas Palmer asked you if you like to go skinny dip. Uh, this is a hard question. Flip it, whatever. Uh, what? Things getting hot with the Andreas Palmer and you're thinking about safe sex. 
Make him use a condom. Yeah. Oh, yeah, what? You had one night stand with Andreas Palmer. You find out he is into cross-dressing. Tell me in the comments what cross-dressing is. I don't know what that is. I'm suffering from anxiety now. What the heck? Marriage material. Your single friend is complaining to you because she is getting exceedingly stressed about the fact that she is unmarried and will soon be turning 30. You gotta worry about that yourself. I, I am suffering from anxiety, depression, and whatever else the first thing was called. Uh, better get on it. I mean, whatever. Not you, if you want to be married that bad, then you better get on it. Job referral. Your mother has a friend who works at a cafe artist store and can get you a job there as a host. I'll take the job, yeah. I need some money. As you can see, I'm... Negative $64,759 somehow. De hey, I'm no longer suffering from the pr 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 profession. Hey, stop it, sorry. You haven't promoted a food, run food runner. What does a food runner do? Um, hey, I'm no longer su suffering from anxiety. My life's doing good now, I guess. My supervisor, supervisor, Mason, has taken a liking to you and asked, you to go to an indoor trampoline park with him. You are worried that it will make co-workers jealous. You're 32 and you want to go to a trampoline park. I mean, if you're really fit and you're 32, then I guess Lila Pons. Do it, no question, I guess. Whatever. Pay raise, yes, please. You've been prone to the server. Ooh, Lila Pons going up there. Stiffed, you notice that a table of difficult customers has not left a tip as they leave your restaurant. Uh, ask them what we did wrong. We need to know what we did wrong. Just like in the comments, let me know what I did wrong. <clears throat> what? Hey, I'm getting promoted like every year. Oh my gosh. You have been promoted to head waiter. Heck yeah. Briefcase, while returning, to, returning a movie to a red box, you find a briefcase. What's a red box? I found a briefcase. Uh, give it's mine now. It had four hundred ninety-three dollars. Ooh, I'll take it. I'm promoted every year. Oh my god! I'm now an expeditor. Whatever that is. Uh, white Russian. Your coworkers invite you to go drink white Russian during lunch. Uh, would Layla Pons do it? Um, I don't know. Would Layla Pons do it? Is this is her life? Would Layla Pons do it? I guess. Pay raise, yes, please. Oh my gosh, Lila Pons, you are getting up there. Oh my gosh, every year. Hey, maybe, may, maybe Lila Pons should quit YouTube and become a uh, a a a, a restaurant worker or whatever. While eating at at a restaurant, you see a woman breastfeeding a child who appears to be about five years old. First off, the woman who is breastfeeding the child who's about five years old needs to teach her son how to not have to, not have to have breast food, food, what, what? Uh, it's, I guess YouTube, baby, yeah, I, I, I do YouTube, sure, huh? You have been promoted to general manager, yay! Stephanie Pons, oh, my mother passed away, I'm gonna attend her funeral. <laughs> Mother, you died on me. Who's my exes? Exes? What? Ooh, I should call him up. Hmm. Booty call. Okay. Are you with him? Booty call. Why would I argue with him? Uh, maybe booty call. Booty call. Chit chat with him. Compliment him. Insult him. Start dating him. Uh, I guess. Call him. Let's give it a try. You call up your ex, fling. Andreas, you asked him to start dating you. You actually him Andreas said he can't start dating you because he is married. He's married! Convince him to divorce Pretend I just, I didn't just say it. He said he loves her and can't do that. <laughs> Why? What the? Okay, um, I guess, hmm, what's in here? Pets? We can get a pet. 
Uh, I was young. I Ryan. Yes, Ryan. Adopt him. So cute. You are now owner of a cat named Ryan. Ryan. Yes. Restaurant wait. There's an hour and a half long wait at your favorite local restaurant, Mark's Restaurant. But as you walk up, the the host asks if you were the last name ca they called. Uh. Um. The wait's too long. I'm leaving. That's me. Sure. Your cat Ryan just came into the house and shot dirt everywhere. Train him not to do that. Hey, duffel bag on your wit. Um, I it's keeping. I'm it's mine. Stop arguing with me. It's mine. Someone start arguing with you because you took her duffel bag. Assault her. I missed. Uh, I suck. My cat died after three years of having him. Jesus. Heart warm. Warm. Okay. Uh. For. It's nothing gonna happen, okay? Team building. Your supervisor at Cafe Aristotle is sponsoring a team build activity by taking the team to s to scare random people by jumping out of the biz bushes at a local park. I mean, uh, sure, I'll go. Yeah, sure, whatever. Uh, okay. In World Resin, okay. Sheep's heart. Some of your friends are eating sheep. No. Age f I'm 56 years old. Early retirement. Your friend who is 60 is considering retiring early, but is a little worried that he, he she doesn't have enough money. Wait a bit longer. If you don't have enough money, you need to wait a bit longer. Just, just, just wait. Wait. All right. Keen Mather. While at the library, you met a male named Keen Mather, age 43. General, his job is general manager at Anchorage Travel and Cruising. Mm -hmm. Ask him on a date. Let's give it a try. You are now dating Keen Mather. Lila Pons is de dating Keen Mather. Heck yeah. Um, anabolic. No! Steroids are bad for you. Don't do steroids. Well, they're, I don't know if they're bad for you. I don't know yet. Um. I'm 60, stockbroker. While out getting a coffee, you encounter a stockbroker looking smug. Uh, ignore him, I guess. Uh, South Africa. An acquaintance has offered you $4,100 to take a suitcase to South Africa. Heck yeah. Bunions. Uh, Leila Pons has been diagnosed with bunions. Proposal. Your boyfriend, Keen, asks you to marry him. You have been together for seven years. Accept his proposal. Seven years? Why? I, who doesn't? You are now engaged to Keen Mather. Heck yeah. Um, 68, Keen and I, and I have been together for ten years. Um, my fiancé, Keen, just told me the story of his first cocaine experience. It was quite unexpected. Okay. Marijuana? Marijuana. While at the beach, a surf surfer offers you some marijuana. No, that sounds gnarly. Uh, tension are rising between. Okay, insults. Someone called you a fool. Just forgive her. Forgive her. For now. <clears throat> forgive her. <clears throat> for now. Your fiance Keen is demanding you get married. You have been engaged for nine years. Plan the wedding. Nine years. And you guys haven't gotten married, Jesus. Uh, hmm. I feel like beach would be good. Uh, hmm. Beijing, China. China, select the plan. Uh, do it. It's only $5,611. Easy mo money. What, what? Make it sound a prenup. Never mind then. Your fiance refused to sign a prenup. N nuptial. He broke up with you. Keen broke up, broke up with me. Aw, that sucks. Substance abuser, you are concerned because your best friend Amanda, Amanda Cerny, Lil Pons, Amanda Cerny, ooh, use a ecstasy is spiraling out of control. State an intervention for her. At least I tried. Your intervention, aw, it was unsuccessful. Uh, I want, I want to get back with Keen, please, please. Call him up. Uh, 
a chit chat. He didn't pick up the phone. Ah, oh. uh, now I died. I died. You die of natural causes. Age seventy-seven. Net worth four hundred fifty thousand dollars. Seven hundred forty-six. Four hundred fifty. Seven hundred. I don't know how to say that、uh, for some reason. Um, visit grave. I was successful. Lepons was successful. Um. Uh, lovers won. Lepons passed away at the age of seventy-seven. The funeral was attended by no one. Wow, Lepons, you were sure a nobody, a conscientious, conscientious one, one young woman. She studied music at university. Little Pons was hired as a restaurant worker and put in forty-eight years at Cafe Aristol. Friends describe her as is sometimes as sometimes cowardly. Wow, Little Pons, you're cowardly. You're cow coward coward. You coward, Little Pons. Um, but yeah, that's where we're gonna end the video. And yeah, I like how it says successful over someone's grave. But um, yeah. This is where we end the video. Like, subscribe, and goodbye.